The unenviable task had fallen upon Polly's. 75-year-old Pat Nibbs was called up for national service in 1958. Despite wanting a career with the RAF, after two years he returned to his job as a motor mechanic in Buckinghamshire. In 1995, when Pat was 60, he started to lose his sight. I was at work and I was using sort of um, very fine instruments, drawings and things, and I was having a job to see them. And the first thing I noticed was exits on doors. I couldn't see them. And uh, I told my wife, like, you know, I said, there's something not, not right. And uh, I kept on moaning because people's faces looked like negatives. I couldn't sort of see their features. He got in touch with Blind Veterans UK, who offered him training and rehabilitation. When I first went to for my induction week, it was a bit of a, let's call it a phrase, really, a bit of an eye opener to see what other people did who were worse than me. It um, put things in perspective. They showed you what to do to walk down the stairs, how to walk down the stairs, uh, how to um, uh, use your, you had a cane at the time, how to use your cane, your walking stick to find little um, steps that you trip over and things to make yourself more secure. What would be your message to people like you that perhaps don't realise they're eligible for help from Blind Veterans UK and particularly this campaign? Having someone like the charity that you can speak to, and uh, somebody that the support's there, it's really important. And I think anyone who lives on their own, which you'll find quite a few from my age group do now, um, is even more important, really. On a Saturday, I do the whole week. Pat's main carer is his devoted wife, Vera. She sorts out his daily dose of 20 different tablets and helps him with dressing and bathing with bags of moral support as well. I don't mind what I do for him because he never grumbles. He tries to help himself and I don't mind anything I do for him. I'm quite happy. As long as I'm healthy and strong, I'll do anything for them. It's thought there are more than 68,000 veterans and their family members who could, like Pat and Vera, get help. Blind Veterans UK hopes their No One Alone campaign will encourage them to come forwards. Victoria Smith, Forces News, Buckingham. Well, earlier on today, Veteran TV presenter Johnny Ball, who served for three years in the RAF as his national service and is backing the No One Alone poster campaign, came into the studio. I started by asking him why it's so important. It's called no one alone and it means that we don't want people to be alone and we're talking about people with impaired sight. Possibly the, the, uh, when the sight was impaired while they were in the forces, but not necessarily. And for instance, uh, I was around in national service years, although I signed over three years. But even people from that era, if they now have trouble with sight, uh, or sight problems, get on to, to the, the charity and we may well be able to help. And at the moment we have about 3,000, but if you include the people that we support around them, you know, because when if, you, if, you, if you've got a sight problem at home, it affects the people around mm. you. So, so it's about 5,000 people they help altogether. But there's 68,000 possible people out there that could uh, be entitled to help from the charity. And the important thing I think you touched on there is that a lot of people won't have lost their sight or have sight problems due to their military service. They may not think necessarily. we can't gain that's support right. from a military charity. Yes. And that's the crucial point. Yes, and it's not total blindness. It's, it, is, it is impaired sight, you know. I have trouble with my eyes. I, I keep walking into pubs. <laughs> <laughs> <And> <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but no, very seriously, it, it, it's a well, well worthwhile campaign and we want to bang the drum to reach the people who don't know about it. Or, and, and, and you see, no one alone, it, it means that. If, you're, if people have got a problem, they tend to stick, keep it within mm. themselves and I'll manage, I'll manage. No, c come on to the charity and perhaps we can help you manage. And also I think people, when they do start to have sight problems and find out more about it and perhaps learn that they will lose their sight, they tend to think, well that's it. Yeah. I'm going to lose my son, I'm going to lose so much, I might as well just yeah. stop. But that's not the case, and Blind Veterans it, UK it, it, offers such a lot, doesn't it? It really isn't the case. It's, it's amazing what many people have done having lost their sight. It, it really is, you know, some people even careers started, started out as. Um, it, it's just, you know, you no, know, the human spirit is quite incredible. And if you get the right people around you, which encourage you and, and help take relieve the depression and, and that kind of negative, those negative thoughts, then you can have a, a really quite a, a full life and an active life.